Imagine a European Super League where we witness the best of football for 10 months straight without any interruptions. What is UEFA cooking in the shadows and what are the consequences of such a radical change? Earlier this year, representatives of the European Club Association met with UEFA officials to plan the future of European football. Reports say that in 2024, the Champions League we know today is going to drastically change. Right now in the group stages, we have 8 groups of 4 teams. The first 2 spots grant a qualification to the next round, and the third spot to the Europa League. A club's position in the league standings is what determines whether they qualify or not to the next Champions League. Only the last Champions League and the Europa League winners qualify directly whether they finish 1st or 7th or 10th in the league. This format will change. Instead of 8 groups, we're gonna have 4 groups of 8 teams, making the total number of matches in the group stages go from 96 to 224. 128 games more will translate into an explosion of revenue for both UEFA and big football clubs. At first glance, this seems like good news. But in a few minutes, you'll change your mind. So, we have 4 groups of 8 teams. The top 4 spots will qualify to the next round, the round of 16. Also, these guys will directly qualify to the next Champions League. You heard it right, they'll directly qualify to the next year's Champions League even if they finish in the 10th or the 15th position in the respected leagues. They'll stay in the Champions League. Same thing goes for the ones that finish in the 5th, 6th or 7th position they'll stay in the next Champions League. Only the four teams in the 8th position are disqualified and replaced with other clubs, most likely the four semi-finalists of the Europa League. The issue with this is that the leagues will lose their powers at assigning who deserves the tickets for the next UCL. This will have a negative impact on the quality of every national league, because the big clubs will give the Champions League more importance because that's where the marketers will pour in the most money. The marketers will focus on bigger clubs and they'll marginalize the smaller ones. The big will grow exponentially and the small will suffer. The race to the qualifying spots won't matter anymore. For example, if this format was already applied and a club like Leicester City wins the league trophy, well, they can't directly go to the UCL. They'll need to play in the Europa League, make sure to be one of the four semi-finalists and then they can play with the big guys. In the near future, the spots in national leagues will change from qualifying to the UCL to the Europa Leagues. Other changes include moving the European games from midweek to the weekends. The reason is of course to increase revenue. Remember in 2010 when the Champions League final was moved from a Wednesday game to a Saturday game to increase TV ratings and insight fans on purchasing more tickets and since then, it's become the norm. Well, the reasoning behind this is quite simple. Most people don't work in Saturdays and Sundays, and most fans can't fly to other countries in the middle of the week to watch away games. They most likely have work the next day. In contrast, in weekends, they do have time. Ticket prices will increase, TV rights will affect your subscription fees. If you are now paying $10, expect to pay $20 in the future. But there's still hope, there are always other free and more convenient services. You know what I'm talking about. There are also talks about a third and new European competition and it's called UEFA Europa League 2. How original. <laughs> oh my goodness. It reminds me of the Despacito 2 meme. It will be introduced in 2021. Europa League 1 will also witness a major change, 12 groups will be cut to 8 groups making the total number of teams equal to that of the Champions League and the Europa League too, 32 teams each. So, how will clubs adapt to this change? They'll have more games to play, the schedule will be tighter. So, how can footballers stay consistent and physically in shape for a whole season? I predict that UEFA will let clubs register more players than the now maximum of 24 players per team. I can see it reaching at least 30 players. With this in mind, clubs will only use their superstars in the Champions League, leaving the league games to their second-tier players. 
This might be just a stepping stone for UFS plans, maybe they're aiming for something far bigger and more lucrative. If these changes come into action, only 20 or fewer clubs will control and benefit from the market. With clubs like Barcelona, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, Juventus, Liverpool, etc. operating in the billions of dollars, effectively widening the gap between them and the smaller clubs by each passing year. It's like a social ladder, but for football clubs. I know this sounds a bit dystopian, but still we are hopeful. This might not happen because most clubs are against this idea. And CEOs like Javier Tebas and Richard Scudamore did express their displeasure. What's your opinion about this? Tell me in the comments. I posted some links of articles about this topic in the video's description so you can check it out for yourselves. Do not forget to activate the bell to not miss any of my future uploads. Thanks for watching and see you in the comments.